Everybody, welcome back to the episode of Throwback Thursday. Today, we're going back to 2013 and opening up some 2013 Topps Chrome featuring two autographs per box. So you can see Manny Machado's on the front of the box. And these boxes are pretty expensive. There's not too many around anymore. These usually run between six and $700 a piece. We'll be looking for the top three rookie cards in this class, in addition to several other guys, but the big three in here are going to be Manny Machado's rookie card, Nolan Arenado's rookie card, and Garrett Cole. We're we'll looking for them, maybe find some parallels. Let's see what we can find right here. But first, let's bring in our sponsor. Carlos is sponsoring this video. All these cards in this box will go to him. He is our Patreon member. If you'd like to sign up for Patreon, it'll give you access to all of our breaks. And we will be doing our next big break this Saturday night. The Saturday showdown, multiple cases, all different years of Topps Jumbo cases up for grabs from 2016 all the way up to 2021. And I hope you can join us for that. If you're not going to participate, at least you can watch and uh, we'll see what we can find out of there. So let's see what we've got in here. So typical 220 card set, two autographs per box. Hoping you get something good in here. We'll show you the odds here in a minute. Once I get the pack taken care of. But kind of cool that Manny Machado is on the pack. He's having a great season this year. Let's see if I can get it uh, to focus a little bit better on Machado. There we go. Here is the back of the uh, card right there. Looks like we might have some focus issues throughout. There's all the odds. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in this very first pack. All right. So we start off with a Lance Lynn. And we have an, a nice x fracture already. For Carlos, it's going to be Mariana Rivera right there. We've got Tim Lincecum. And last but not least, a Gold Cup Bryce Harper card. Very nice one, Bryce Harper. Gold Cup, that's it. That's not a bad one right there. We'll take that one next pack up. In pack number two, we've got a leading off. We've got Mad Bum. Back when Mad Bum used to be featured on Topps cards. He, of course, now is only on Panini products. And we've got Nick Marondi. That's a name that uh, you probably don't hear too often anymore. Um, I don't remember ever really hearing that name. Next up, let's see what we can find in this next one. Jose Fernandez rookie card on the back. Very nice. Now, of course, he's no longer with us, unfortunately. Passed away in that boning accident, which is very tragic. He was on pace to be one of the all-time greats. Well, maybe not all-time greats. Maybe that's a little premature to say, but definitely one of the premier pitchers in the league. At the time of his passing, he already was one of the best pitchers around. Next pack up for Carlos. We've got Ryan Braun on the back. We have a die cut card coming up here. It is going to be a Mike Trout die cut. So an early Mike Trout card. Not too bad right there. Kind of is even in the shape of an M if you look at it. Uh, pretty cool right there. Mike Trout. That's going to be a killer card to sleeve up with all those edges. Next up. By the way, we will have a live stream tonight. We'll be doing an auction so if you missed out on the last auction i hope you can join us for that um we're doing the second part of bo taylor's collection there's an evan gaddis right there we got a matt kane as well david wright and the last card it's going to be joey Votto. so joey Votto, next card up and uh, i don't know what's with the focus issue and on with this phone today but uh I'm just going to try to keep the cards right smack dab in the middle of the screen and in your face, so to speak, so that uh, we can... What? There's only three cards in this pack. What a ripoff. Only a three-card pack. That sometimes happens. I've seen packs before that have had four cards, and I've seen other packs that have had, like, 50% more cards than they're supposed to, like 12-card packs that are, that are supposed to have 12 will have way more, and this is just absolutely terrible for Carlos. Carlos, unfortunately, you have a redemption, Avicio Garcia, a auto rookie variation of Avicio Garcia, and that is uh, long since expired. 2016, it expired. We got Justin Moore, though, there as well. So that kind of stinks. Um, sorry about that. I will give you something here to make up for that here. Just hold your horses, man. Um, wouldn't that be awful if both of your autographs in a box were, you know, redemptions. Oswaldo Arcia, we've got a 72. Clayton Kershaw and Jason Kipnis going up and over there. Still none of the good rookie cards in this. 
Got some refractors. Got a, the best card so far has been the X Fractor of the Marian Rivera. Here we have a camo refractor of Troy Tulowitzki, number out of just 15. So nice one right there. Troy Tulowitzki. We got a Billy Butler and Ben Zobris. All these guys pretty much now since retired. You don't really hear or see these guys around anymore. Probably, I would say, I don't know, maybe like. 20% of these guys are still around. Carlos Santana is still around. Brandon Maher, X-Fractor. Haven't heard from him, him in a while. Neither Jason Worth nor Jared Parker is the last one. So we've got a stack left here. Let's put them all together and continue on. All right, we've got Jake Peavy there. There's Paul Canerico. We've got a nice Andrew McCutcheon. This was actually his MVP year, 2013. Got a little kind of like... A, Another die cut dynamic skill card in uh, Willine Rosario gold cup card. So Chrome will be coming out maybe in about a month or so. 2022 Tops Chrome. And uh, I'm a little nervous for it, actually. Did anyone happen to see what Tops did with the Series 2 checklist? I saw it yesterday. And it might be the worst checklist I've ever seen since I've been doing these baseball card videos in the six years I've had my channel it's I'm completely disappointed I almost felt like making a rant video and just ripping into tops and saying like what are you doing this is unacceptable there's Todd Fraser so let's talk about it in case you haven't heard yet so we're all excited for all the new rookies these big names that got called up they broke camp with their their um, teams like Bobby Witt Jr and Julio Rodriguez and Spencer Torkelson. These guys have been around since opening day, and in the past, when that happens, well, you get in Series 2. Uh, look at 2019 when you had Aloy Jimenez and Pete Alonso and Fernando Tatis in there. All those guys broke camp with uh, their clubs on opening day 2019, and there's a nice Anthony Rendon. His, his stock has fallen considerably since he's not been performing so great since going over to the Angels, but still, nice card. Jed Jerko as well. All right, so I'm expecting at least one... I'm expecting two of those guys to be in there. I was, I was thinking, okay, they're probably going to hold maybe one of those guys back for update, couple them up with Adley Rushman in update, and they have a pretty nice update checklist too with some chasers in there. None of them made it, and there's the Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole rookie card. That's one of the top three in this set. Dylan Bundy, a nice one as well. They didn't put a single one of those guys in the checklist. There's no J-Rod, no Julio Rodriguez. There's no Bobby Witt Jr., there's no Spencer Torkelson anywhere to be found in Series 2. But you know who is in Series 2? And this is what kind of really makes me just scratch my head. Wander Franco Rookie Card Part 2. Like, they, they put another Wander Franco Rookie Card in there. Like, you can't do that. Like, what's that? Now, yes, it's been done in the past when players have changed teams. Like, when you've had Yohan Moncada go from the Red Sox to the White Sox, you had Series 1, he had a Red Sox card, and I think it was updated, he had a White Sox rookie card. Same thing most recently comes to mind is with Randy Rosarena a couple years ago uh, with his, uh, what was it, 2020 Tops Series 1 Cardinals rookie card, and then 2020 update in his Rays uniform. But Wander just giving him another rookie card just to sell some more cards, I, I, I felt that... I, I, I thought that was ludicrous, like, uh, kind of cheapens the first rookie card a little bit, and, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll just water it down together. There's all, it's not like there's already a million of that first card floating around out there, but now you got to make a second rookie card for him in Series 2. What are you doing? So, there's our second autograph. It's a Kuji Fuki, or Fujikawa. And uh, not the uh, not the biggest name right there. So unfortunately for Carlos, two bum autos there. Avisio Garcia would have been a nice one, but it just was a redemption. So anyway, um, I was super excited for Top Series 2. Uh, luckily, I haven't ordered any cases yet. I was probably going to go crazy and order tons of cases, do breaks for weeks. And, you know, I don't even know if I want to do that many. I'll do a couple just to see what's in there, but... Um, I don't know. Series 2, I, I'm my official advice is stay away from it and save your money for Topps Update. Or Topps Chrome. The, the, now that, the bad part is with Series 2 not having any of the big guys, are they going to put them all on Topps Chrome? And Topps Chrome is just going to be absolutely crazy. And by the way, we have a Nolan Arenado Chrome rookie card. So we've got Nolan Arenado. We've got Garrett Cole. Now we just need to find Manny Machado. We'll have the trifecta there. So... 
nice one right there. It's not a guarantee you're going to get maybe any of these. There's, what, 220 cards in the set. And there's only 96 cards in the box. You factor in all the, the inserts. You might only have, like, 90 cards or less to pull from. So we did pretty good with the rookies, getting a Nolan Arnauto and a Garrett Cole. I can, I can only hope that we can get a Manny Machado here. They've got a nice Adam LaRoche. That is a blue out of 199. Kyle Gibson rookie card. And Victor Martinez is the last one. All right, just two packs left. And then I got to get something for Carlos because, um, you know, that's that redemption just hurt my feelings for him. There's Will Myers rookie card. Michael Walker was pretty good there for a while as well. J.P. Aaron Sebia and Robinson Cano, who is, uh, I believe, just got released by the Padres or is set to be released by the Padres was hitting 094 for them I think his career is pretty much over he only did it to himself too with the PED usage if he hadn't done that he probably would have maybe been we might be talking about Robbie Cano as a 3,000 hit player right now and um, potential slam dunk future Hall of Famer Salvi Perez, Matt Harvey. And the final card of this box is the Grandy Man. But we're not done yet for Carlos. Nope, I've got something else for you. Your autographs were not that great, so I'm giving you two Stay Classy packs. If you know what these are, these come from Bryce at Stay Classy Cards. And these are my Rainy Day packs. I, I opened, I bought 68 from him. I opened 48 in a video. I saved 20. And I used them as Rainy Day packs in case you have a bad go of a, a box or something like that. And I'm going to give you two here, Carlos, because you're short an autograph. Now you're going to get two autos and you get a, a nice Key Brian Hayes. And you're also going to get an A Rod rookie card in there, as well as all these bad boys with it. This is one of the nicest little $5 grab bags out there. You get a lot of uh, parallels, and there's a David Ortiz out of 150, and then you get an autograph, Danny Jansen, who I kind of crapped on Danny Jansen yesterday, just, you know, on his name, think, saying, oh, Danny Jansen's a common auto, but somebody pointed out that he's been actually playing pretty well recently in the minors. There's a Freddie Freeman, Byron Buxton. You got a Kyle Tucker right there, Nick York. Reese Hoskins Blue, got a die cut Willie Mays, and a Kevin Biggio to go along with Casey Mize rookie cards. Let's do the other pack. And there's a Derek Jeter rookie card on there. Not technically not a rookie, but a rookie class Derek Jeter, which is a very nice one right there. That's from, I believe that's 1994 Collector's Choice. Very good card right there. Mike Trout's in there as well. Nick Madrigal. So, you know, sometimes with these boxes, that's the way it goes. You're especially the older boxes. You're hoping that you hit something great in there and then you get a redemption or just an autograph of somebody that doesn't play anymore. Josh Rojas and Griffin Roberts. It's a double hit. You've got a nice colossal National Treasures relic along with your autograph. Xander Bogarts. There's Nick Gordon. Ah, nice, nice Andrew Vaughn. And we'll wrap this up. Wow, oh, that's a pretty nice early David Ortiz card. What's that doing in there? 1998, his second year David Ortiz card. Very nice card right there. I like that one a lot. I think that's my favorite one out of all these uh, or these two Stay Classy packs that we've done. Brian Reynolds. And last card there is going to be Seth Beer, who is one of the big names to look out for in Series 2 of Tops. The big rookies, not including Wander. If you, uh, do you count that as rookie? I, I don't. I'm sure I'll have a rookie logo on it, but uh, Seth Beer, Shane Boz, and uh, Juan Yepes are the big guys to look out for in Series 2. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in the live streams. That's all we have for you right now for Throwback Thursday. We'll be live tonight in our auction. I hope you can join us for the auction tonight. I'm going to probably take a look at these lenses on my uh, camera here and get those cleaned up so we don't have the focus issue again. But have a great rest of your Thursday. Hope to see you in the auction tonight, and I'll see you all tomorrow. The subscription boxes are rolling in. So look for some June subscription box videos soon as well. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you all later in the auction. Good night, everybody.